Let's poison jab now. Bye bye. How much does the iron head do? Bye bye. It's looking pretty darn good for us today, folks. Good afternoon, Pokey Sports. Welcome to another VC Balsam regulation app video bringing you a Mian Chow team. Mian Chow is interesting. Especially this Mian Chow specifically, because this Mian Chow isn't rocking fake out. It's actually rocking Swords Dance instead with Drain Punch. So the thought process is to just end up being an unkillable Mian Chow. We will try. Not just that, it does have the Poison Terra to deal with Flutter Banes and the Poison Jab to also deal with those Flutter Banes. And inner focus so that we can't get intimidated and we can't get fake outed immediately. So that essentially gives us a pretty free Swords Dance turn one. Maybe not the freest Swords Dance turn one because we can't get we can get double hit in the game. But you know, it's a free-ish Swords Dance. And then some some consecutive drain punches afterwards. I see the thought process here. I definitely see the thought process here. Now, other than that, th this team is very tanky in the back. We have things like Amoongus. We have things like Ting Lu and things like Corviknight to really just help thicken the back line with some very strong Lumons. Not just that, Fluttermane's here for our special attack damage and Ogre Pond's here for our water and grass type attack damage. So it's looking like a good team. Maybe we're missing out on fire a little bit, but otherwise it's looking like a pretty thick team. This team is also from Tiger Formal. If you guys remember Tiger Formal, it's probably because you remembered it from the Torterra video. Same creator, posted two teams at once. I happen to like both of them. So I'm playing both of them. Anyway. If you guys are excited to see what the heck a Mian Shell is going to do in today's video, hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokey Sports if you haven't done so already. And with that said, let's get on through today's video. DJ Pokemon, I don't even know what you're trying to do. Uh, I, I, uh, where do I start with this? Like, there's a Vaporeon, a Mesprit, a Bombardier, and a Cinderace here. You might as well be called Chef Pokemon because you're cooking, dude. There is no way that you did this with a sane mind. I'm not bashing on it. I'm just confused. I don't even know what to do or where to start. That's the problem. All right. In all honesty, I do think Tinglu is actually really decent here. Maybe not a lead, but definitely an option. We might be able to lead with Mian Shao. Maybe Mian Shao and Fluttermane. Bring the Ogre Pond to the back. Deals with that Vaporeon. Then I'm gonna need a way to deal with Hydrapple. Unfortunately, that way might have to be Corviknight here, and Corviknight does not want to sit in front of a Cinderace. But it's gonna have to. Let's go, Corviknight. You got this. I believe in Corviknight. Corviknight's actually a really impressive Pokemon, so. I act I have a lot of faith in Corviknight as a Pokemon. In fact, I, I do think it can be played competitively. Especially in the core and in the current environment with like Landorus eyes running everywhere. Or even Landorus Incarnate. It's like, what does Landorus Incarnate do to Corviknight? Nothing. Alright, Vaporeon and Hydrapple gonna be my opponent's lead. Listen, guys, your guess is as good as mine. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to click Swords Dance, and I'm going to think later. Because I think I'm pretty safe in this matchup. I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm safe to click Swords Dance, and I'm safe to just click Fairy Terra, Dazzling, Gleaming, and, and do damage to Hydrapple. Now, they could hit me with a Terra. Fine, I force a Terra immediately. But if they're going to Terra, they're probably going to be either Terra Poison or Terra Steel. One I could hit with a Mian Shell, the other I can't. They actually just hard swap the Hydrapple out. Okay. Works for me. Cinderace coming on in. As long as I can do half here to Cinderace, we're fine. It's just a matter of how much the Fairy Terra Dazzling Gleam can do here. And yes, this is Fluttermane carrying a Mian Shell, I guess. But like at this point, like why wouldn't I Fairy Terra my Fluttermane? Makes no sense not to. I'm not going to play like an idiot just because people are mad I'm using a Flutter Man. All right. Dazzling Gleam. Does it do half, actually? Okay. That's actually not even close to anywhere that I wanted that damage to be. My Mian Shell might have to... Uh... Ooh. Interesting. I might still be faster than Cinderace, though. So let me detect. I'm just going to switch over to Shadow Ball now, though. 
I think I might still be faster than Cinderace because I was speed booster. So yeah, that just got rid of my speed booster. Okay, Shadow Ball, please be enough. Oh, come on, dude. Cinderace with the Iron Head. Oh, they got me. They, well, there goes Fluttermane. So much for Fluttermane carrying anything. <laughs> oh, uh, I got the calc right. The speed calc was correct in my brain. It wasn't correct there, though. They're going for Skull, too. I didn't know they gave Vaporeon Skull. They gave a lot more things Skulled, huh? All right, now we Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond should really mess up their Vaporeon now. All right, let me go for Drain Punch onto the Vaporeon. I just go for Follow Me this turn. I think they just hard swap Cinderace out, but I'm wrong. They high jump kick. Ogre Pond avoids. One HP, bye bye. All right, cool. A little bit of luck on our side. Not gonna lie. Please go for a Scald into my Water Absorb. Drain Punch now. We still have speed, thankfully, too. Ooh. Me and Shout bring in the pain. Such a strange team. <laughs> We end shout, bring in the pain. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Now, I wonder. Do I just turn off my brain and keep clicking follow me? I think so. That feels like the smarter option. Hmm, Mesprit, though. I think Hydrapple. I could be wrong, but I think Hydrapple. One of these two is going to Terastalize. I don't know which, but I'm going to attack the Hydrapple for now. And I outspeed Hydrapple, so I have no reason to follow me. I'm just going to Ivy Cudgel the Mesprit. There's the Terrestrialization. Who's it going to be? If it's Steel Terror, I'm sad. Oh, no, it's Mesprit. That's fine. It's a fairy. Okay, that's also fine. Might hurt me with the Dazzling Gleam, but it is what it is. I honestly think the Lake Spirit should be Psychic Fairy already. Because they're pixies, you know? It fits the theme. Oh, they outspeed me. Oh, that's right. I got Icy Winded. Oh, but our Sash is intact! Oh, the Drain Punch from that Vapor... Oh, yeah, the health of that Vaporeon helped us get back to... Po get back to, uh... Focus Sash range. Hydrapple going really low with the HP. But it's not going to be enough. That should be game. We Drain Punch Hydrapple. We Ivy Cudgel Mesprit. GG's, folks. We're taking a dub with me and shall We did it. Not the easiest dub. Because, again, we were playing some pretty strange things. But, hey, DJ Pokemon, can't wait for your next album, you know? Can't wait. Anyway, on to the next. Talk about a Trick Room team. Okay, Among Us is definitely coming to this matchup. One shape, way, or form. That's for sure. Also, Hello Blurst. Feels like a Corviknife game. Even does feel like a Ting Lu game, too. Tell you what, I like the Mian Shao lead here. And these three goons in the back kind of feel kind of nice. I'm actually a little bit worried about that Ensign. Okay, so maybe I should leave with Corviknife instead. Have the Amoongus and the Ting Lu in the back. Because I at least lead with things that can't get intimidated, right? If I'm leading with things that can't get intimidated, I have no reason to care much about an instant. Not, not, not just that, but, you know, I can't get intimidated or fake outed with the Mian Chao either. Granted, they can fake me out, they just can't flinch me, so what's the point? Breaking my sash might be worth it to them. Okay, anyway, they're just going to go Ogre Pond plus Fridge Wrath. They will get Trick Room up. I can't change that. But I'm going to knock out this Ogre Pond. Whether they like it or not. Actually, is Iron Head super effective? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's better. I'm going right for this Ogre Pond. If they protect, I'm going to cry. They might spiky shield the Ogre Pond, actually. But then I just knock it out next turn. Typically, when Ogre Ponds that are Cornerstone Ogre Ponds are on Trick Room teams with Sturdy... They, uh, they're still max speed jolly. All right, there's a drain punch. There's damage. 
They have Ivy Cudgel and they do go for it, so they didn't even follow me here. Then here's an Iron Hand. Iron Head, more damage. All right. Fine. Next problem, Trick Room. Never mind. No Trick Room? I don't think I care about that. Preventing it from here. Oh, I can't Drain Punch now, though. That's a little annoying. Eh. No, I can't Drain Punch. All right, so they will get Trick Room up next turn. There's not much you can do about that. NC's coming. All right. I don't think I want to burn Terra yet. I can't Drain Punch, so I'm going to Detect instead to stall out the Psychic Noise. Let's just go for some free Brave Bird damage on the Ascension right now. I think Psychic Noise is only two turns, so it's not that serious. Fake Out? Nope. They tried. I didn't even think of that, but wow. Thank God I protected. But yeah, they're just trying to break my sash. Smart play. I also broke myself down to the Citrus Berry, so that helps me too. But I did just learn that their instant outspeeds. Never mind. Now it no longer does. Okay. <laughs> Trick Room is now up. And I'm no longer prevented from healing, but I will be the following turn. All right, well, this is an easy turn for me. I just hard swap into Tinglu. Save my Mian Shao for the late game because it does outspeed everything on their team now. Except maybe Urshifu. But they don't have Urshifu. They have a bear in the back. Let's keep chipping down Ensign. This game could still kind of go both ways, which is a little scary, but I think we could deal. Hyper Voice is doing no damage to our side of the field. In fact, they have two Pokemon that don't... I'm confused. Am I speed tying this instant or what? Because <laughs> uh, it, it outspent me inside and outside of Trick... Oh, it went for... Fake out that last turn. Okay, that's how I knew that. Never mind. I'm tired. <laughs> they went for fake out. Obviously, it's outspeeding me. Doesn't matter. I lost my Corviknight. I put things to sleep now. Welcome to Amoongus. Time for Amoongus gameplay. <laughs> Get ready, folks. Make you regret that trick room real quick. Uh, let's just fire off some snarls. Actually, no. Let's just get rid of the ensign. Dark Terra now. And put everything to sleep. All right, did they terrestrialize yet? No. So this means we're in a pretty solid spot. If I do say so myself. Among us with the Terra here. You go to bed. No safety goggles found. You can flare blitz me if you want, Ensign. But I think stopping tantrum out speeds now. Woo! Bye-bye. All right. They got an Urse left, right? Show me the Urse. It's about to be a sleepy Urse that is going to get snarled 17 times in a row by Ting Lu. I mentally prepared my team. No, I didn't. I didn't build this. But I mentally prepared it in team preview to bring all the right pieces in the right spots. Snarl. And go to sleep. Remember, you said Trick Room. It wasn't me. Wasn't me. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Are you having fun yet? Okay. That's fine. They've got to undo Trick Room one way or another because I can't actually set it myself. The thing is, like, if they do undo Trick Room, I do still have a Mian Xiao in the back to do Mian Xiao things in the back. Oh, now that they saw Snarl too, yeah. Good luck for Ridge. Special attack is going to drop on Fridge Raft. Fridge Raft does wake here and does undo Trick Room. Okay, that would be my luck. At the same time, I'm still going to Snarl and I'm still going to Spore the Earth. I, I think I still have no other play. This is still my play. I do nothing else this turn. 
If they want a Blood Moon, my Moongus, I honestly don't think that KOs me. Sitting next to my Ting Lu. And now I'm pretty sure the Fridge Wrap doesn't KO me either. Yeah, they're going all in. They're really trying to hurt me here. Get ready, folks. Amoongus, hold on. You're about to go for a ride. <laughs> the biggest ride of this Amoongus' life is about to happen right now. Hyper Voice, just chip. Good luck. Amoongus, you got this. I believe in you. I believe in you, Amoongus. 8 HP with Life Orb. And I'm missing. Kevin Lux against me. Thankfully not the Ursa Luna, though. Woo. All right. Go to bed. Okay. This game got a little serious now. All right. Now we snarl. And now we protect, because why wouldn't I? Why not keep my Amoongus on the field for another turn? Just because. Why not get another snarl off? Just because. All right, just a little bit more chip on my ting. Thankfully, not much damage coming through, though. And more snarls on their side. Beautiful. Now negative two. I can't hard swap in. I could also throw chop for the hyper voice, too. I can really mess this dude up. Let me try to palm puff on my ting. Nah. Oh, well, I tried. All right, good news is I'm going to be able to get my... Okay, they're waking up here. Okay, they're hyper-voicing. That's bad. This is now single target and negative two, though. Okay, we still take it. Whew, okay. I'm going to throw chop just for a little bit more damage. Let's get my Mian Xiao on the field now. I want to protect their protect. Let me throw chop their fridge raft now. Actually, I could also double into this fridge raft right now. I will. I'm doubling the fridge raft. They're going to trick room. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, that was so bad almost. That was so bad almost. They try to burn my protect. They didn't get it though. This is great, because now I don't have to think. Now I just drain punch into Earth and get rid of it. Okay, that's that's honestly so much better. Yeah, let's throw chop you. Let's just drain punch the Ursa Luna and call it a day. They were trying to call my detect. Oh, big brain. Okay, listen, my opponent's got some got some moves. Thankfully it didn't work. Thankfully it didn't work. My goal was just to stop the trick room that turn, nothing else. And it looks like that I will accomplish that still. By throat chopping, they also can't hyper voice me. Never mind, they outspeed me with the hyper voice. Oh, but we're living at 10 HP thanks to all those snarls. Doesn't even matter. Game is going to end. And Mian Xiao winning us that game there at the end. Because not going to lie, I had no form of recovery with this Ting Lu. All it took was like one crit and I lost that game from a Blood Moon. So... Thankfully, we were we were able to expedite that with Mian Xiao a little bit. I'll take that. GG's. Maddie with the Raging Bolt Lando team. All right. Well, listen, Lando don't doesn't touch Corviknight. That much I know. Raging Bolt doesn't touch Tinglu. That much I know. Rillaboom doesn't touch Abongus. That much I know. And then Ogre Pond. Well, Watersh doesn't touch Ogre Pond. But this isn't the Ogre Pond video. It's the Mian Xiao video. Let's do it. Amoongus Mian Xiao going to be my lead here. Bring the Corviknight. Bring the Ding Lu in the back. Let's call it a game right there. I think that with enough sword stances and drain punches, I can inevitably become an unkillable Mian Xiao with Sash. Because theoretically, if I'm plus six in attack and I keep drain punching and getting all my health back, I'm unkillable. Unless you double into me, but that, that's a different story. <laughs> can't double into me if you're dead. That's the whole point. Not to mention you can't double into me if I have Rage Powder. Honestly, I'm liking where this is going. I'm liking how tanky this team is. This is the first Tiger Formal team that we've used in a short period of time, actually. 
Torterra team was the other team that we used. From Tiger Forum on that one. That one went outstanding. So if this is any testament to what that team was, I'm excited. I'm excited to try out opponent. Good luck, have fun. I know it's backwards, but you guys, you know, you can read it backwards. I promise it's not backwards in real life. <laughs> in case you were considering not buying it because of the fact that it's backwards. All right, Ensign and Shen Pao are gonna be my opponent's lead. Double fighting type weaknesses in front of a, a Mian Shao? Sounds good to me. Don't mind. Don't mind if I do. I like where we're at right now because all we have to do here is get greedy, I think. And then go for the Ghost Terra. Put something to sleep. Or actually, we could just protect so we don't get fake outed. We're definitely going to get fake outed on Hutasa. So let's just protect. Why? Oh, even better. Free sword stance. Oh, Mian Xiao is about to have a fun time in today's video. Mian Xiao is about to pop off. Get ready, folks. Get ready. Gonna try to force the terror out of that, uh... Oh, they flare blitz me on that side. Okay, um, that's bad, <laughs> as we would say in the industry. That is awful. That brought me to Sash. Well, I'm gonna drain punch the instant now and click Rage Powder until the game ends. <laughs> until the Mian Xiao no longer can anymore. Thankfully, no spread moves on my opponent's side of the field right now. Unless they hit me with the Snarl, but I'll be able to outspeed the Snarl. And by going for the Dark Terror here, I'm not going to instantly die to, like, an Ice Spinner. And I'm also going to break Sash on the Chen Pao here. Who might just be going for Ghost Terror, just so that they don't get hit by, uh, the Drain Punch. Or the CC. They don't know which one's coming. They still have a Terrestrialization to use on either one of these. I'm just hoping it's not a Ghost Terror Ensign. Because I think any flavor of other Ensign, I can, I can hurt. Here's my turn. They're not clicking Terra. If my Amoongus is going first, they're not clicking Terra. Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Rage Powder, save me, please. The only button I will hit for the rest of this game. I promise. There's the crash. That hurt. But here's the punch. That hurts more. Beautiful. Give me my health back, please. I need it. I need it so bad. All right. That ice school crash hurt real bad. But now they learned they outspeed my Mian Xiao, which they should have known by now, but I don't know what their EV spread is. Maybe they were questioning it. Maybe they're adamant. I don't know. Landorus is here. Okay, Landorus does have a spread move. I'm going to click Detect. And I'm going to click Sleepy Time on Landorus. I know I said I was I was going to click Rage Powder for the rest of the game. And trust me, I want to. But I think Sleepy Time on Landorus is better. So I think they're really going to try to pressure my Mian Show this turn. <laughs> Got it. Got it right. Now I just have to live this Lando hit. Haha! <laughs> I play Pokemon. <laughs> Good night. Have fun. All right, now I'm gonna poison jab here. And click Rage Powder for the remainder of time. I'm too afraid to hit Drain Punch on that Chen Pao. I don't know why. It's probably because it's a Ghost Terra. I, this is where I need an open team sheet, like, real bad. They hate missing ISO crashes. Oh, we live at three, though. Big. Big. That Poison Jab did nothing, but what did I expect, really? All right. Screw it. 
I'm just gonna rage powder. I'm just gonna drain punch the Chen Pao. I swear, if it goes Terra's now, I'm gonna be so sad. It hasn't done it yet. Which leads me to believe it's just not gonna do it. So I'm just gonna go for it. Not to mention this will help me get a lot of HP back. I was gonna hope that I was hoping that poison damage that poison jab would do a lot more since I am plus two and since there is a Chen Pao in the field. I'm I'm a little I'm a little disappointed by that damage, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was like, dang, at least half is what I thought it was going to be. They protect Gen Pao, fair enough. It's Rage Powder again. Let's also pay attention to the turn order here. I outspeed the Lando, which is good news. Still fast asleep, beautiful. Okay, they saw I was going to try to drain punch it now, though. What if they're just Stellar Terra? I'm gonna Drain Punch it again. Let's Rage Powder. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, they're not, okay, they don't have Ghost Terra. It's impossible for them to have Ghost Terra at this point. Cause there's no way you have it and you haven't clicked it yet. All right, also their Landorus will wake up this turn. I just have to get this Chen Pao down to a, to an HP I can deal with. Should have punched this thing a year ago. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of health back. If I can get enough health back. Yes! Sash is back! Woo! Nice! Landers wakes up, doesn't matter. I have Sash. Huge for Oh no, Sash breaks and then it's gone. I, I for some reason in my mind, Sash thought I thought Sash worked like sturdy. Okay, well, we're now in a bad spot again. Uh, because my Ting Lu does not like Chen Pao. Alright, well I do lower the special attack of everything on the field. I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna throw chop Chen Pao. Actually, I should heavy slam just in case they have a. Do they have a Fluttermane in their game? No Fluttermane, actually. Who do they have? They could have a Dirge and they could have a Raging Bolt. Okay. So I guess I should Stomping Tantrum the Chen Pao. Just Iron Head the Landorus for now. That's fine, too. Chen Pao is going to go for an Icicle Crash on my Tinglu, most likely. I might live one. Okay, good. That's all I needed to live is one. I don't care about the Slanderous. I really don't. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. The one time I needed a move to like... Ah... <laughs> <sighs> Get out of here, dude. Okay, they rotate ice skull crashes at least, but get out of here, man. That Chen Pao should have been dead literally a year ago because I kept not attacking it with Mian Shao. I hate this so much. They haven't missed an icicle crash yet either, which is a little bit irking to me. Are you kidding, game? I'm upset. Again, the Landers can't touch me. The problem is, okay, the only way I win this game is if they have a Rillaboom in the back, because Rillaboom also can't touch me. But if they have a Water or a Dirsh, I lose. If they have Raging Bolt, they definitely lose. It would have been nice to have a Ting Lu here. Oh my goodness. GG. It would have been nice to have anything here. I mean, it's. So stupid. So stupid. Double flinches with an icicle crash on me, turn after turn. 
Whatever, that's Pokemon, I guess. <laughs> Jeremiah with the Porygon Z. Also, they have Tailwind and Trick Room on their team. I don't know which which direction they're going. I'm pretty sure it's not Trick Room, though, because there is nothing else on that team that really wants to be part of Trick Room. It's just the anti-Trick Room option, I guess, they have on their team, then. Listen, I see Porygon, too. I I, I bring Mien Shao. It's that simple. Then looking at the rest of their team, it's a pretty good time for Corviknight, too. Corviknight does not care about a single Pokemon that I see on that side of the field whatsoever. Now. Tingle is another fun one. I got to bring something that deals with their Ogre Pond, though. Amongus. Amongus is the one. This does mean I'm bringing a lot of tanky stuff. Maybe I should just bring my own Ogre Pond into their own Ogre Pond. Just so I have another way to do damage. Because, like, if I do commit to the Amoongus, keep in mind, that is going to be the only thing... The only thing that's going to do damage on my side of the field is Mian Shao. Tingu's not there to do damage. Corviknight's not really there to do damage either. So, uh, I don't know if I want to commit to that kind of bravery. I'm not that brave. Women's Account Fluttermane's going to be their lead immediately. Listen. I've been waiting all day to do this. I've been waiting all day. Poison Terra. Poison Jam. <laughs> and let's just match the Tailwind, right? No, it doesn't matter. They're going to be faster than us no matter what. We should just fire off attacks. Okay, if that's the case, then I should just Poison Terra, Poison Jab, Whim. And Iron Head, Flutter. Why not? We mean business. All right, they're going to Thrasly too. I see you, big dog. It's going to be the Flutter. It's going to be Poison type. That's A-OK -okay so far. I led with double Anti-Fairy and they led with double Fairies. They just don't know that I led with double Anti-Fairy. Guess what? We got one too. They got to be doubling into this Mian Chao in order to knock it out this turn. Actually, even nah. They got to be doubling into this Mian Chao, predicting me to go for Poison Terror and then be going for the Shadow Ball to knock me out this turn. Do you think they're doing that? I don't think so. Oh, they're definitely not. Okay, listen, I take this. What do you think you're gonna do to me with a dazzling gleam? Get that dazzling gleam out of here. Brother, that still hurt me down to Sash, which is kind of nuts, kind of crazy, kind of stupid, but okay. Let's poison jab now. Get rid of this one. Bye. Bye-bye. And now, how much does the Iron Head do? Hopefully enough. Bye-bye. It's looking pretty darn good for us today, folks. Woo! Good turn for us. G-L-H-F. Urshifu coming out now. Okay, that is a little scary, a little threatening, a little worrisome. And it's a Dursh too. And they got a poor. Okay, we gotta we gotta actually think. They still got threats left. And we can't even protect to save us. Alright, let me just hard swap Ting. And let me attempt a tailwind. Attempt. Wish me luck. I'm hard swapping Ting just so I can take an incoming Porygon 2 Thunderbolt. Okay, they're try attacking. Never mind. And they're wicked blow a wing. And that one shots me. I wish I had my Citrus proc there. That's unfortunate. Still not impossible though. Now we go into Ogre Pond. And now we just have a fun time. I'm going to click Snarl for now. And I get to Ivy Cudgel one thing. I'm choosing Urshifu. They're scarfed on Tri-Attack. Okay, good to know. They, they would! What?! They would burn me with the try attack. 
Well, GG! <laughs> oh my goodness! Come on, game! 10% chance to get one of three things happen, and guess what? They got all- they got the important one. I somehow lose this game. That is nuts that I somehow lose this game. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Hold on. Hold on. I have to just... Now I have to be a follow, a follow me bot for the rest of this game. I think my man shot... Man, my man shot outspeeds the Urge too. They sucker. I, okay. I'm not out of it yet. I need to live this try attack. Dang it, man. If I get enough health to where I can live a try attack naturally, maybe. Or, I don't know. I don't think that's enough health. Oh, we hate it here. I'm gonna protect just to annoy them a little bit. Yeah, wait with me. Dude, man. That burn might have mattered. I think it definitely mattered. Maybe I'm wrong. A strain punch. GG's. Taking home two losses in today's video. To the stupidest things too, man. The stupidest things. Two and two overall. It was still a fun team to use though. Tiger Formal, thank you so much for going ahead and posting this team on the Poke Sports Discord. I greatly appreciate you going ahead and posting this team there. Unfortunately, it couldn't give us the result that I was looking for, but it is what it is, right? We're, we are using Mian Xiao. And, and, and we're getting beat to shreds by hacks like this. <laughs> I'm just upset this video. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm not having fun. Anyway, it's okay. I hope you guys did have fun watching to the very end of the video, of course. And I hope you see you guys again here tomorrow for some more VGC stuff. Remember, if you want to catch our merch, pokesports.org slash collections. If you guys want to check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash pokesports. If you guys want to have a fun time tomorrow, hit the bell button so that you're reminded to have a fun time at noon EST. Anyway, I'm Kevin Spoken Sports. Thank you so much, Tiger Formal, again, for posting the team on the Discord. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your night. Peace out, and bye-bye.